All right. Good Lord. That shit right there is not only the shit that makes your ears bleed, but it is the sounds that soothes the FBI's sexual frustrations. Good Lord. Happy Monday, hackers and whackers. It's a pretty quiet weekend for the Hacker News, but a couple of things to tell you about today. First up, the HackerNews.com May issue uh, is dedicated to hacktivism, their favorite subject. So you can go to the site, thehackernews.com, and download that. Uh, that is available right now. And then the two big things to tell you about anonymous hackers targeting Russian government websites for the Putin inauguration. Um, anonymous hackers are to launch cyber attacks on the websites of the Russian state agencies to support the opposition. In a YouTube video, hackers said that the Russian government website will be subjected to DDoS attack on May 6th and on May 7th, and the same will happen with the Prime Minister's site. Join us. All it takes is a few simple actions to bring this rotten and corrupt system to its logical end. The hackers then posted instructions for everyone who would like to participate in the attacks. Putin convincingly won a six-year presidential term in March despite a wave of protests following a December parliamentary poll and the opposition said was tarnished by large-scale voting fraud in support of his party. It said it would launch attacks on the Russian government website government.ru at 1200 GMT on May 6th and on the Prime Minister's website premiergov.ru on May 7th at 0900 GMT. Anonymous demand that the authorities were more resolute in the fight against the corruption and opposed the moves restricting the freedom of expression on the Internet. Moscow has called for a globally binding UN treaty on cybersecurity to crack down on the web. So, op defiance, anonymous message to the Russian parliament. You can find that on thehackernews.com as well. And then the last little thing to tell you about Red Kit Exploit Kit, a new web malware exploitation pack is out. Trustware researchers spotted a new exploit kit called the Red Kit Exploit Kit that's being used in the wild and aiming to enter a market that is practically monopolized by the widely famous Black Hole and Phoenix Exploit Kits. In actuality, the new kit is uh, no official name, so the researchers dubbed it Red Kit due to the red bordering used in the applications panel. Well, isn't that fucking original? Outstanding. Well, it's Monday. That's all for today, but we'll be back on Wednesday. Keep you up to date on what the hackers are doing. Much love to everybody over at HacksRadio.com. Big shout out, Mr. E, the Fixer, the rest of the crew. See you Wednesday. <laughs>